Hi and welcome to this quick video. In this one I want to show you how you can set Unity to work with OpenXR and the XR Interaction Toolkit. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So this is just a Unity project that I've opened. Um, it's in 2021.3.2F1, which is an LTS version, long-term support. And to get started with the XR plugin management, I'm going to go to File. Build settings and then find my player settings. And I'm just going to dock that over on the side here. Now, if you scroll down to XR plugin management, you'll see we have the option to install it. So we'll go ahead and click that box. And you'll see here we now have um, some options available to us. We can install some plugin providers on our Windows. Or if we were doing it on Android, we could select which plugin providers we were using. We're actually going to stick with the XR plugin management. And we're going to select Open XR. This just gives us the flexibility now to be able to actually build for a range of devices very, very easily. No longer are well, we constrained to just having it on Oculus or any other headset specific plugin. This is going to work for lots, giving us ultimate flexibility. Might get a warning just to say that um, we're currently using the old input system and we're going to be enabling the new input system. So we go ahead and say yes. Then once you've reset, you'll see we're back in our plugin management. We've got our OpenXR here. We've ticked it, but we've got a little question mark and a little bit of a warning. And just, just to say that we need to, if you read it, it says your project has some settings that are incompatible with OpenXR. Click to open the project validator. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see here we, that we need, we've got one warning and we need to add an interaction profile. So go ahead and click on edit. It will open XR section of the XR plugin management. And here we can say, you can see it's got an interaction profile. This is what we need to add. So let's make this a bit bigger. So you can see here that our interaction profiles list is empty. We're going to go ahead and click on the plus. And this gives you a selection of some interaction profiles that we can use. If we were using the Oculus Touch controllers, we can go ahead and use that controller profile. If you were using a Valve Index, you've got that there, HTC Vive 2. I'm going to go ahead and select HTC Vive Controller Profile. And you can see now I've got no issues. It's all gone away. And then back in XR Plugin Management, you can see that warning has gone as well. So this is all ready and set up to run in OpenXR. And if I was to, if I was to say I was building my Quest game, uh, which is an Android base, I could go ahead and tick the OpenXR there too. Again, we've got a warning. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, and it will give you any specific things that need to be fixed in this window here. So we can go ahead and say fix to my color space. Doesn't support gamma. And then again, with the interaction profiles, I'm going to go down to um, OpenXR for my Android. And I, let's say I want to do this for Quest. I go ahead and add in my Oculus Touch controller profile. So I would have a setup for my Android devices such as my Quest uh, and my Windows based stuff as well. So very cool and I think from moving forward for my tutorials I'm probably going to be using the um, the OpenXR just because it gives you a little bit more flexibility. And then if you want to install the XR Interaction Toolkit same as before you can go ahead and click Window, Package Manager and then we're going to go to Unity Registry. It might not show up because nope. And I think even with um, these latest versions of Unity, even with, you can click on the little cog here and go to the package manager, enable pre-release packages. It's still not gonna show up like so. So you'd need to go and do it another way. And to do that, we just click on the plus, add package by name, and go com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit, click on add, and it'll install that XR Interaction Toolkit package for you. I ask you to update it, and just say yeah and then you're good to go and then you can see it's in our packages here and then we can bring in our starter assets which is going to contain all of the input actions and you can even update it to the newest version if you want to so there we go that is how you get unity up and running for open xr using the xr plugin management and select it from the list and then adding the interaction profile so now we've got maximum flexibility when we are creating our games and we want to deploy to a different range of headsets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.